All right, this is going to be fun. Here we go. Yeah, it's going to be great. <laughs> There's lots of great information out there. Yeah. Fun so. times this morning. Yeah. <laughs> Hope everyone's able to join us live here on Facebook and YouTube. I want to say welcome back to everyone. We're here at our home series workshop with Concierge Real Estate Services. Thank you for joining us. In our last episode, we <laughs> discussed pricing and how important it is when you're selling your home. If you did miss that video, you can find it in the link posted below. Then today, we're going to take a deep dive into the second critical factor when it comes to selling your home, and that is marketing. Today, we have our expert listing agents. They'll be sharing their insights and strategies on how to make a property stand out among all the others. Let's welcome our guests. We have uh, Sandra Maroney. Uh, she's a seasoned agent, and she's leading the way in the <coughs> local markets in both Mariposa and Merced counties. Welcome. Hello. Thank you for having me. Excited to be here. Glad to have you. Thank you. All right, and then next we have Lynn Anderson. She's our, a long-standing listing agent and uh, a training manager. And she's been a top producing agent most of her career, and both in the San Francisco Bay Area and locally here in Mariposa County. Welcome, Lynn. Thank you. Thank you very much for having me. Excellent, nice to have you here. <clears throat> All right, well, to start things off, let's talk about the importance of marketing. When it comes to selling a home, why do we say that marketing is so crucial for success? Well, you know, simply put, marketing is how we get your home out there. You know, you, you could have to, you know, out there to all the prospective buyers, you could have the most beautiful home in the world. And if people don't know it's for sale, it won't sell. True. Yep. And with so many homes on the market, it's important to make yours stand out. Um, you want to create a, an important message that showcases your home and features to attract the right buyers. All right. Well, that yeah. makes sense. So what are, what are some of the key elements of a successful real estate marketing <clears throat> strategy? I am very adamant about uh, curb appeal. I think it's very, very important to market your house. It's important, um, especially when a buyer walks up to the house or even drives by the house. I've, I've experienced where, drive, where buyers have actually driven by the house and before you even show it. And they've decided, nope, this is, you know, because of the landscaping, it's not well maintained. It just doesn't, you know, doesn't stand out to them. So are you saying it like sets the tone before they ever walk in the house, Absolutely. right? Absolutely. I, I honestly feel like a buyer will make their mind up about that particular house mm -hmm. right from the get go as soon as they see it. Right. Okay, so for curb so, appeal, have the plants nice, have your all, your house painted nicely, yeah, yeah. Exactly. It, everything's clean. I'm real visual about that too. It's like I love like, you know, seeing trimmed hedges and oh, just, mm -hmm. you know, maybe one or two flowers here. Just I'm a real visual person. It just kind of draws you into the home like, oh, let's look more. Okay. <laughs> and it's actually and, very easy to do, right? You just yeah. get some nice, clean, fresh bark. Place it around the plants. Right, right. And you can yeah. really very inexpensive and right. easy to do. Good point. So if it's you can tidy it up before, make yeah. it yeah, yeah. nice. And then maintain it. <laughs> make, sure right. it make sure you keep it tidy. Hire right. hire the, the, the teenager <laughs> down the street. Hey, mow and rake my lawn once a week, a couple of times a week. Right. <laughs> you right. Know? Yeah. They get free labor and they'll love it. <laughs> right. So so with maintenance, say, you know, that you've you had kids and they've been in the house and oops, they've got some fingerprints on the walls. Would you say to paint that? Oh, before? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> And that's the other thing is, you know, obviously the outside is very important, first impressions. But when you get inside the house, you want that to be, you want to deep clean your house, yeah. windows, um, you know, even even paint. Again, paint is inexpensive. Yeah. And that gives the house a nice, fresh, clean, well-maintained smell. Right, okay. right. That's so important when you mm -hmm. walk in that it smells inviting, it smells right. good and fresh. There's something about fresh paint. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. And, yeah. and just the brightness, just the, the pop of, right. of that, you know, yeah. neutral colors. Don't yeah. get crazy with the oranges. OK. <laughs> right. <laughs> and we all have our first <laughs> yeah. friends, but we've had a few of those listings. <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right. So that makes sense. So we've got yeah. keep it neat and clean, tidy and uh, maintenance items. Make sure little things are yeah. taken yes. care of. Right. Yeah. OK. Declutter. Obviously, that's huge. Make sure, you know, put it put away everything that you're not needing to live with yeah. because you're going to be selling your house 
So yeah. I always tell sellers, you know what? You're going to be moving anyway. Pack it up. That's what put I Put it do in too. the garage. Yeah. If yeah. you don't have a place to put it, it's okay. Put it in the garage. <laughs> yeah. Right. Stack it, 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 it neatly in the garage. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> right. Well, we, so. some, sometimes it gets overwhelming. You know, it's like, okay, I got to put this box over here and put that box over there. But, you know, you're going to anyways. Right. So, yeah. So get started. Yeah. So basically declutter. Declutter yeah. and start yeah. packing now. You're getting right. ready to move. So exactly. uh, might as well get started now. Right. Yeah. And it'll just help the home show better, right? Yeah, and I think it's yeah. important to remember too that, you know, this is your home. You've lived in this home for so long and you love it dearly and you want to make sure that other people see that too. Mm -hmm. But you want to be sure that other people are able to envision themselves in that right. space. Mm -hmm. So take down so the personal, take down the personal yeah. items, kind of make it um Minimalistic is it the right word, but just kind of going along those yeah. lines so that when prospective buyers can come in, mm -hmm. they can envision their lives in right. the space. Excellent. Yeah. Have you gone into a model home before? Exactly. I uh, love that. Yeah. Yeah. I love yeah. going I in love model homes. That. <laughs> yeah. And think along those lines when yeah. you're trying to market your home. Right. Because that's what you're wanting to do. Right. You know? Fairly sparse. You want them to be able to see the big <clears throat> points of the home, not right. focus in on the little details like, right. oh, what a nice wedding picture. Oh, yeah. so nice. Right. Sack. And all of a sudden, and they're not thinking about the, the special features. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> right. yeah, yeah. So. exactly. And it helps them see the spaciousness. Mm. It's so long, we gather so many items in our lives that sometimes it does have a tendency to shrink down our room spaces. Mm -hmm. But when we take our personal, you know, uh, objects out, it kind of does. It, it reopens that room. And sometimes people walk through and go, wow, forgot my living room was this big. Yeah, <laughs> true. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know? and actually, yeah. I, I've had a lot of sellers say, I wish I would have done this a long time. <laughs> right. They like living like they that. They do. That's yeah. true. Yeah. yeah. Excellent. Okay. Those are wonderful points. I love that. Okay. So, so that's how we start off. First, we get the house in really good condition. Mm -hmm. We have good curb appeal. So we set the tone as buyers are coming in. Right. Uh, and we do all of this <clears throat> for the buyers to come see, but also for our photos and videos, right? Absolutely. <laughs> that's the second most right. important point is yes, is we want to take professional photography okay. where we could use the best lighting, the best colors, the best ways to showcase the home, mm -hmm. you know, so that way we make it look its best and just enhance what's already there. Excellent. And, and to capture the specific features like views, especially. Right. Right. Or if you have archways or if you have, you know, like right. you know, specific types of flooring or something, yeah, that really stands out, really pops. So that that is important because, you know, nowadays we have pretty good cameras on our phones, but it's just, it doesn't quite get the width right. a lot of times. It it doesn't have the same brightness. Right. Mm -hmm. uh, to show the true perspective. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And and especially for large ranches to do mm -hmm. the drone shots, that's very important. Yes. It gives you a good perspective of the where bird's the eye view. And, yeah. Yeah. The bird's eye view of the property. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 Well, and so many people nowadays, you, you know, you, you're at home looking on your phone or your computer mm -hmm. before you come out and see the home, mm -hmm. right? And so it, it, you want it to look its best. Exactly. Right. To get to them excited. Those buyers, right? Get right. them in there. Yeah. yeah. Well, I know I've had people say, wow, your pictures really showed what the house looks like. Mm -hmm. Some of them can enhance too much and right. like make it look bigger than it is and they get out there and they're disappointed. <laughs> yeah. So it really should be accurate. Right. right. It should. And that's where professional photography comes into play because mm -hmm. you do capture that accuracy. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So photos and videos, it sounds like that's, you feel that's pretty critical mm -hmm. with your marketing. Absolutely. Era. And with the larger properties, the drone footage with the land properties, the larger ranches, the drone footage, because, you know, you have, you know, acreage and you want people to see that bird's eye view. Well, it takes time to drive around 400 acres. It does. <laughs> it does. <laughs> Unless you got your side by side, go for wheeling. Yeah. <laughs> we, we have done it. Those We've, done done it. <laughs> We've done it. We yeah. do. And even that takes it's like two hours. Like yeah. the mailman, so, the rate doesn't stop us. 400 acres. Oh, yeah. Right? <laughs> so, yeah. All right. Well, that sounds like really important features for marketing. All right. So then we've got the condition of the home, our photos to really make it look, first we have it looking its best, then we show off its best, you know? Right. And then what's something else that we need to do? Like once you have those in play, what do you do for like your marketing plan? It's important to sit down and really look at your current competition, the right. comparable properties, and most importantly, obviously, is to set the price correctly. That's right. huge. Right. I mean, that's part of how you're going to get those buyers into the into see the house. Mm -hmm. If it's priced realistically according to the comps 
and the current competition. Can you go into, I think some of uh, our viewers at home might not really know what a comp is. And we hear real estate agents say that um, all the time. Yeah. What is a okay. comp? It's actually looking at the comparable properties to your home within hopefully your area. Some areas are a little different and it's hard to do that, but pretty much that's what you're looking at. And comparing apples to apples, oranges to oranges. Mm -hmm. So, so you know, same maybe... features, same kind of acreage, same kind of square footage, okay. um, you know, with age those of parameters, age of home, right, exactly. Okay. And then you use that to see what they're selling for, what, the, what they have sold for, and, and what they are and selling And what the current for. market, ah. in the current market, what they might sell for. Okay, sure. Yeah. So that, that takes a little bit of experience, knowledge, I would think, to yeah. assess that correctly, right? Yes, it does. <laughs> yeah. I mean, we've got Zillow, and Zillow always says, hey, uh, you know, yeah. this is your price range, but does that really work in yeah, Mariposa? Sure. <laughs> Zillow, Zillow ignoring the Zillow estimates. <laughs> Zillow doesn't know what the inside of the house looks like, right? right? Uh, All yeah. they look at is the and hard numbers. And right. Zillow's not going and looking at the neighborhoods. They're not, like you said, looking at right. the insides of the house. They're not looking at what has recently sold in that neighborhood or maybe exactly. around the corner. Yeah. Um, so, you know, you, you can... It's very basic data, it's right? It's very basic so, data. Yeah. So, yeah. so much goes into it. Mm -hmm. So it's just so much yeah. more than that. So you really want to fine tune that estimate exactly. and double check it with an expert that right. understands the market right. data. Yeah. yeah. Again, they're not comparing the square footage. They're not comparing the number of bedrooms and baths. They're not comparing the acreage. Right. All of that is extremely important when you're True. Looking at comparables and trying yeah. to set the price. Right. And that's something that I think in our rural area in Mariposa County is very difficult because we have such varied sizes of land. Right. Mm -hmm. Right. And it might be much easier for Zillow to assess in an urban area where the neighborhoods are all very much oh, the same. Oh, it's much easier. Trust yeah. me. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, I hate to coming from the Bay Area. Cutter, much much more like cookie cutter. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. So it is. Where yeah. that's yeah. where it's important to you know have those conversations and it's important to go out and look at your inventory mm -hmm. and it's important to be on top of the market right. and seeing what's selling and what's you know right. um, not selling and just seeing how quickly the properties move mm -hmm. excellent okay yeah. so it sounds like setting the price uh, takes takes a bit of expertise and right. that's where you can really rely on your realtor mm -hmm. as the expert to guide right. you with that right in addition to that so say you've got your price set now what's the next step in your marketing plan well I think one of the things is you want to target your market audience Okay. Yeah. And with the, with the target audience, what's, what's an example? So a house versus a ranch, ranch exactly. you know, a condo right. versus a single family home, right. you know, things like that. Yeah. 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 If you've got a house on the beach, you want to get it to people at the Who beach, like the right? Beach. right? Exactly. <laughs> you like the beach. You yeah. want to go or, to or a the rural beach. area or, like ours, yeah. right? Where yeah. you really are a vacation rental or a, a VRBO kind of buyer mm -hmm. if they're looking for that kind of property. Right. Yeah. yeah. And so would you say that social media is a way to uh, get to people with those interests? I'm really starting to use social media a lot with my marketing plans as I like the broad uh, spectrum of people that that you bring in so um, I am liking that and I'm, I am getting onto that more and posting more on that yeah it's not just the typical real estate sites that, uh, right. yeah. that attract buyers or sellers anymore but it's those sites as well as the the, the individual sites right yeah. sites that so what with the uh, the real estate specific sites uh, let's talk about that a little bit how does that get out to buyers the, the IDX services, you know, where like people go online and they're like, okay, I'm searching for a house and, you know, I'm searching for a two bedroom, you know, two bath house in this area. Whereas, you know, and so it brings up your site specific and it, it has the listing specifically. Okay. Um, so like a well, nice paper ad. Basically but, feeds from our, our MLS. From our MLS, you know. Goes to, yeah. And then we add to those sites. Right. Those are pretty specific. For that, you definitely need a realtor to get onto those sites. Yeah. Yeah. MLS, yep. yeah. yeah. But, <laughs> but I would say that that really gets the marketing out there to a broader yes, spectrum of buyers exactly. because those are buyers that are actively looking. Right. Right. They've said, hey, I'm looking for a house. I'm going to this site. Right. 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 So they are 
actively mm-hmm. searching. They are engaged. Right. Mm-hmm. So I think social media helps for getting the publicity out, letting your neighbors, letting your friends know that, right. hey, this house. Word of mouth, too. You bet. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right. And it could be that audience, too, that they were kind of toying around with the idea, not really sure of. But if they see that house come up on social media and they're like, wow, that's what I'm looking for. That's exactly what I've been wanting. Right. Well, there you go. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. Yeah. You never know. Yeah. <laughs> so I think the, the real estate specific sites are, are key. They can help you sell your house for more because mm-hmm. you're getting to more people. Right. Right. So that plus the social media. And, you know, there are specialty sites that a realtor will know which one to put your property on. Say say you have a property with a, a vineyard. Mm-hmm. You would want to put that into a vineyard specialty site. Right. Right. Exactly. Or yeah. Yeah. Have large to ranches. Those, those mm-hmm. go into yeah, yeah. special yeah. market. We do have access to yeah. those and that where we can market on those. Yeah. Right. So, yeah. So I think that those really <laughs> help because with marketing, it's about getting to as many people as possible right. in addition to targeting the audience that is looking for mm-hmm. that style of property that's that they're that, for that lifestyle mm-hmm. right yes yeah excellent okay, okay. Yeah. well i think that marketing plan with the realtors that have experience they've seen mm-hmm. what works and what doesn't work right yeah right what about open houses yeah, I've, I've experienced a lot of open houses um, in the bay area You know, honestly, they typically don't sell your house. Mm -hmm. It's a lot about neighbors and Mm -hmm. coming in to see how you live kind of thing. Mm -hmm. But it does expose your house. Mm -hmm. You do get some marketing that way. Right. Right. Well, one thing I've seen, it can be uh, site specific. Like it seems like in Merced County, open houses are done pretty uh, right. often and people right. buyers can drive around to each house pretty easily exactly they, but, uh, yeah yeah but yeah, yeah, that doesn't, doesn't work a little different <laughs> yeah right. down in merced it's very common and and yeah there'll be like a saturday afternoon and a buyer will you know yeah. hit up three or four open houses you know a day right and but in so mariposa it takes longer to get it, so it's not as from as, one house to another so yeah. again yeah. that's that's a very pertinent part of your marketing plan is know where you're at right know where you're at Mm -hmm. know what marketing works for that area Mm -hmm. and what doesn't and then gear your plan towards that right excellent okay perfect well i think those are really good points we've touched on obviously you know when you meet with a realtor they can really guide you and give you Mm -hmm. more of the details with with all of those points but i think this was really helpful to kind of give an overall picture of how important important marketing is and yeah and that it's not just I'm going to take a picture and <laughs> put it online right more to it than that yeah. it goes into it than that that's for sure yeah there there really is and so it's nice to hear some of those yeah. thoughts and there's a that. lot of behind the scenes that realtors I mean I, I know that Lynn and I do as well and I know you do as well we have specific databases of clientele that we have been working with for sometimes months sometimes years it's you a good know, point. And yeah. we know exactly who they are and we know what they're looking for. And so we send out email campaigns and we send out, you know, phone calls and, you know, letting people know what's coming on the market. So that's a really good point because there's a lot more buyers there that have also actively said, I'm interested. I just haven't found the right thing yet. Right. right? Yeah, and, you know, right. because of the widespread marketing that we can do, you can attract buyers from all over. Mm-hmm. Right. I mean, people from L.A., the Bay Area. Yeah. I mean, it, marketing yeah. is huge. <laughs> yeah. Marketing is, is a really big piece of the pie right. when it comes to yeah. selling your house. Yeah. You got to get the word out. Let everyone know it's out there. That's it. Yeah. And then you got to yeah. price it right. The two really go right. hand in hand. They do. Right? They do. Because if you've got every, telling everyone about the property and they come out and it's like, well, it's pretty, but yeah. it's a lot more than everything else. So maybe I'll go <laughs> yeah. look at this other one over here. So, And I yeah. always say, you know, if you price it realistically, you price it right, that's that's your goal. You want to get as many people in to see that house as possible. Mm-hmm. And if you, that, by pricing it right, that's one way to do it. True. One of the biggest ways to do it. Right. right? Otherwise, they might sit at home and say, well, maybe, yeah. If I don't, it comes down. If it comes down. Let's <laughs> wait a little bit and see if it comes down. Yeah. 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 These, these sound like comments you guys have heard. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh. oh, okay. A lot. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Well, thank you both so much for sharing your insight with us today. You're welcome. And it was fun. Thank you. It's yeah, fun. It was a lot of fun. And I, I hope that it helps the viewers out there to understand a little bit more of the industry 
and what goes into marketing a home and pricing your home mm -hmm. uh, because it's it's an important <clears throat> purchase and an important sale you know it's yeah. a, probably one of the biggest ones you've you'll ever make right, right? Mm -hmm. yeah so it's important to to do it right mm -hmm. and hire experts that can really guide you and mm -hmm. get you as much money as possible while you're for your investment well thank you so much for joining us today i hope you've uh, found this helpful please remember to uh, click like and subscribe on our videos it's the best way to show your support and help us to continue getting this content out there for you it's our goal to educate all of our friends our community our clients we want to make sure that everyone is informed and engaged so any questions please feel free to reach out to any of us yeah I'm happy to help yeah excellent yes yeah. we'll see you on the next one and go out there and make it a great day